welcome to you. My name's Melanie McLaughlin. Absolutely delighted to be here today hosting the inaugural Money in Sport conference here in Melbourne and very appropriately at one of the uh, the great sporting venues, of course, Etihad Stadium. The Money in Sport conference, uh, as you are aware, is the brainchild of a tribal sports group. They do all kinds of great things. They've brought some massive events to this country. Welcome to Melbourne. Welcome to the first ever Money in Sport uh, conference. Why Money in Sport? Because everything about sport has changed over the years. I think every, every Grand Prix has to create its own um, you know, culture and, and, and something special. Nobody does what Melbourne does for the Grand Prix. And I always come here to learn, I always say that. The difference between sport and business is pretty simple. Sport's an emotional connection for people. Fans don't want to hear sports and clubs talking about themselves like brands because they're emotionally connected to you. We sell on emotion, we market on emotion, but we can't make emotional decisions. And a lot of sports go wrong by making emotional decisions. If Twitter was going to be successful in Australia, we had to speak Australian's language, and that language we decided was sport to kick off. Twitter connects you. Twitter brings you closest to what you're more passionate, most passionate about. It had to be Neymar. Neymar scores. He has nerves of steel. And that's an incredibly sort of connective experience. And what I think we're going to see, and Australia's going to be right at the front of this, is more examples from wrapping up the data in a more interesting way. The, the more conversation that happens on Twitter, the more people are actually tuning in to watch that game. And that's a really interesting relationship for us. Whether you're on uh, you know, sport or, or whether you're a coffee, it's about having clear objectives about what you're wanting to achieve and who you actually want to talk to. European football market and this is revenues generated by all the clubs and all the leagues in Europe, almost a 20 billion market in 2012-13, a 20 billion market of which half of it is generated by the clubs in the top five leagues in England, Germany, Spain, Italy and France. So. No longer do we have locally owned single tenant venues. They are now changed significantly and with that brings opportunity but also challenges. It's really important in this country um, to have uh, part of our culture to have live sport and that we can all share it together and that's something we're really committed to as a business. In the US, uh, sport is about money, it's about business. Um, it's, you know, they love the fans because the fans pay their bills. When fans are happy and they're engaged, they're going to spend more money. Um, in this instance, what was the, the, the ticking time bomb that, that happened? Andy, I don't think with this it was, it was one particular incident. Um, if you like to, to, to carry on with that analogy, Rangers have been torpedoed relentlessly over a period of you know, four years now. Thank you so much for coming. Hopefully we'll see you for the next one.